Grantaroni's moonshine is now accepting. <laughs> How you doing, Bunana? <laughs> Oof, what's happening? Nothing good. This is what I want. This is not what I want. Yes, no. So, today is Monday, and yet I am still weekend vlogging. It's Memorial Day, so I kind of feel like it counts as the weekend, but at the same time, I'm gonna try not to vlog too much because usually I edit on Mondays. I don't know why I'm telling you all this backstory. Usually I edit on Mondays, um, or at least I try to because editing and uploading on Tuesdays gets kind of crazy because it takes me a lifetime to edit my vlogs. I don't know why I do it to myself every single week, but I do, I cannot help it. I just got all ready this morning, really early. I went and worked out at Orange Theory. That was a strange choice. I don't know why I did that. Um, I'm glad I got it out of the way, but I'm already sore. Like I get sore every single time I work out at Orange Theory. I like it. I definitely feel a difference in my body. I've been doing it for a few months now. I only do it twice a week, so it's like nothing that hardcore, but I'm noticing a difference. I feel stronger. I can see a difference. It's not like I'm like losing weight or something like that because I'm definitely not aiming to do that, but I like it. What was my point? I need some lunch. We're about to go to lunch, but I wanted to show you my outfit first because I'm wearing two things I haven't worn before. And I don't know, I feel like you care about that. You probably don't, but I'm doing it anyway. All right, here's the outfit. I've got this top, it's from Verge Girl. I showed it in my dressing like an Instagram mannequin video and I haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet, but I feel like today is like the perfect, like picnic-y kind of Memorial Day day to wear it. I love it. And then I also have my wide leg trouser jeans. I showed this in a recent haul also. So I guess you have seen all these things if you watch my main channel, but I haven't actually worn them in life. I've only worn them on the internet and that doesn't really count, right? So here it is all together. I love these jeans so much and I feel like this whole look, it's like a 70s moment. It's like my dreams all coming true. It's like the stars are aligning, unfortunately, we don't have big plans today. <laughs> I might be able to convince Grant to do something special for Memorial Day tonight, but we'll see how it goes, I'm not sure. But I don't know, as far as outfit goes, I'm having a great day. I mean, can I say that about myself? Is that allowed? Is that allowed? Of course. <laughs> He's a very bad influence. Check out this outfit, hey. Bacon, 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 bacon burger. Yeah. Uh -oh. Do not, <laughs> do not come between a man and his tub section. Look out, everyone. He's on the loose. He's about to go crazy on these tubs. What'd you say? We got two tubs. He can't be stopped. <laughs> All right, now we're in the preserving section. Grant has cooked up an idea involving a whole raw pineapple. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm probably getting poisoned. It got a little crazy. Okay, we're back home. We made a few stops after lunch. We went to the mall. We went to the Disney store because Grant wanted to return a couple of shirts that he ordered online. They didn't take them, so we still have them. They're really cool. I want him to keep them, but he's unsure. After that, we went to Target. We got some real random stuff. Well, it seems random to me. Grant has a whole scheme working. What is it called? Tepache. 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 It's a traditional Mexican fermented pineapple drink. Oh. And then I decided to tiki it up a little bit with some more tiki flavorings. Ooh, sounds good. We got everything we need, AKA a giant jar. So how long does it have to ferment? At least probably, I think they said at least three days, oh. but the longer you leave it, the boozier it gets. So it's really whatever you want. <laughs> this. Ooh, what is this? Cover in the Piloncillo, it's a Mexican sugar. Nice. 
I've never seen this before. So once we get our pineapple brew going, we are gonna get ready or at least get a game plan together to go to an outdoor symphony and fireworks kind of thing. Symphony plus fireworks. I'm sure there's an official name, I just don't know it. We've obviously never been, but I've been to like a similar kind of thing in Houston, but without the fireworks. Grant took a little bit of convincing, but I think we're gonna do it, right? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Is it a mistake? We'll see. Mm -hmm. second we'll see. <laughs> I mean, this is the most free we're ever gonna get. We gotta celebrate our freedom, Grant. It's Memorial Day. Gotta get out there. We're doing have a it. picnic in the park. So we're gonna go have a picnic out in the park, listen to the symphony, and watch the fireworks. Oh gosh, this is really happening. Mm, careful. Getting juicy. Am I in the splash zone? I'm in the splash zone. You know wow, splash your zone? shirt. You could definitely be a tiki bartender right now. You're like working hard with some pineapple. He works hard for the money. You just grab the jar you said? Yeah. Put the squash there. cinnamon stick and then two tablespoons whole allspice three tablespoons of whole coriander all right so i guess we're on the way to making our pineapple dreams come true grant Taroni's moonshine factory is officially in business i kind of want to think we should have broken those up so we're... you want to get it out with some tongs well i shouldn't know how to cut it up um let's use a like a hammer to smash it yeah. i'm the idea guy in this situation <laughs> Even when Grant has like a recipe or some kind of like food plan, I'm really just, he will not give me a job. I have to like beg for a job. He let me measure eight cups of water for this recipe. But other than that, I've, I've got some, I got some creative ideas. Let's smash the sugar with a hammer. Yeah, see, you're helping out. You're contributing. You get a roll. Fish them out. This man is very talented in many different areas. Sugar fishing is one of them. Looks like some good moonshine there. It's not real homemade hooch. Unless you gotta like kinda, you know. MacGyver it. MacGyver it, yeah. We've got a little hair tie in the mix. One of our really special gifts that we got for our wedding was this picnic basket from Grant's mom. And I think this is our first opportunity we've had in our almost year of marriage to use it. It's really cool. It's very official. It's so cute. Everything's still wrapped up. Oh yeah, this is the cooler thing. Yeah. Do you see how cute this is? We've got little plates trapped in. And little wine glasses. Our little glasses. <laughs> so fancy. I love this so much. All right, well, we're back home, and tonight was so much fun. Uh, the concert was pretty quick, but the fireworks were awesome. Excuse me, Miss Looney Bean. Do you have something to say? 
pet me. That's all she has to say. She is front and center today. Tomorrow morning we have a meeting that's pretty early for the house and it's a big one, so I'm excited. Right now I'm exhausted, I can't even think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love when you guys come back. And I guess that's it. I hope this wasn't the longest vlog ever. Anyway, thanks. I love you. Bye.